get this one out of the way too. Chapter 4, Beware the Black Cat. Ten in the morning. I'm diligently serving customers today. However, there are fewer than usual. Hey, there's still not any orders yet? Not at the moment. Really? This is probably because of that new restaurant. A new restaurant? A new restaurant geared toward tourists showed up not too long ago. Today is its grand opening. What's it called? Something Cafe? You mean the Black Cat Cafe? Ah, that's it. You knew about it? I saw it when I came to the village. I didn't know it was a restaurant. Listen up, Brandon. You're going to be my spy. <laughs> what? Get along and fire without you for a little while. Hey! Here, I want to go too. Who will take care of the customers if you're gone too? Ah, inside, please give me a souvenir. A souvenir? No, no. I'm curious about it too, so I'll go. Don't get lured away. Oh, are you saying you value me as an employee? No, it'll just be a pain to hire someone again, dumbass. This is the Black Cat Cafe. I saw this black and white building when Sosuke was giving me a tour of the village. The sign that said opening soon is gone and the lights inside are on. The eight customers are standing out and forming a small line. I reluctantly become the ninth customer waiting to be let in. I wait 40 minutes and then finally get inside. Black cat with an unusually large body approaches me. <clears throat> Welcome! Table for one. Oh, uh, uh, oh, yeah. His sudden and casual hospitality catching me off guard. Also, his innotation that of uh, a Kansai accent. Honestly, I can't deny I felt taken aback when he was his notepad on the counter to a white cat who takes it without saying a word. Um, by any chance, mm. would you happen to be the manager? Yup, I'm guilty as charged. Well, that makes sense for the owner of the black cat. to be a black cat when it says the black cat cafe outside. Now, perceptive by the manager of this restaurant. Yamato hit him a full I've only just opened, but I appreciate your patronage. Yamato son. You serve customers even though you're the manager? You got it backwards. I serve customers because I'm the manager. Don't you know the fate of a business depends on repeat customers? There are huge help in tourist spots where the customer base is particularly fluid. I put a lot of effort into attracting them. That's why I concentrate on serving the customers so I can get a closer relationship with the tourists. How is that really? Do you know why tourists go sightseeing? Um, to make memories or something like that? That's right! They travel to make memories. Taking 
pictures, buying souvenirs, and having a nice meal are generally enough for them. That's where I come in. I get aggressive about talking to them, adding interacting with the locals to the list. When they have fond memories of their visit, they'll think about stopping by the Black Cat Cafe when they come back. People are also more than happy to write about me in their travel blogs. I get a, then I get the good publicity. Don't worry about the little details. The impression of being one is what's important. I see. Well, I also serve customers because I can't cook. <laughs> worry about the small details. Anyways, the cook in the kitchen does it all by himself. Before I set up shop here, I was in the home delivery business. I used my connections through that to hire him. He has trained all around the world. I can assure you his skills are top notch. This is a restaurant, so of course that's important too. Sorry, but us here at the Black Hat Cafe are taking your customers. ordinary customer would have listened to all that self-important yammering. The lounge was the only restaurant in this village until I came along. <laughs> of course, I did reconnaissance and intelligence gathering. I tried to go to your place as a customer earlier, but it was closed. Um, was it that day when everyone was asleep in the morning? You see, this village has had a remarkable increase in tourists lately. You guys must have thought it was nice to have so many customers go into the lounge, right? That was their only option. The lounge was the only place to go when you're hungry. But that's no longer true now that the Black Cat Cafe is here. We've got a ton of customers visiting the village. This is my only warning for your pathetic lounge. You've had it easy for a long time now, but don't think that'll continue. Tell your boss that the manager of the Black Cat Cafe will be dropping in for a visit soon. Saying no more, Yamada-san goes off to greet other customers. I just came here to spy, but I ended up getting an unexpected declaration of war. can't help but get this feeling of danger when I see him acting so sure of himself. Him laying out all his plans right, there, right in the open is a sign of confidence. At any rate, I'm sure he's going to be a formidable business rival for the lounge. Sorry, I'm eating. Alright, <clears throat> sorry, I'm back. sit in the lounge. What's that supposed to mean? You usually don't interact with the customers. You just shut yourself in the kitchen all the time. It's the exact opposite for the other place, right? That's true. <laughs> the manager who doesn't do things like cook even though he runs the place is no big deal. But there's a chef there who makes up makes surprisingly good food. What? <laughs> Oh, really? Maybe I should go there too. Go there to eat next time. Damn it, whose side are you on? Calm down. Oops. Calm down. Go, oh, you're gonna get the carpet pulled out from under your feet if you underestimate him. The income from tourists is finally increasing. You can't get complacent. Tourists who see the Black Cat Cafe for the first time are probably attracted to it because it's new and has a nice looking exterior. Really? Brandon, did you think so too? Yeah, kinda. Should I 
change something about my restaurant. I don't think you're cut out for having pleasant chats with your rest customers, though. Ugh. So, what should I do? Don't get impatient. You still... You need to be calm and composed. Mm. It seems he's aiming for tourists. This place has the local connection built from your dad's generation. If he says repeat customers are important, lo loyal local customers are even more so. The taste of the Lagoon Lounge was already deeply ingrained into the villagers a long time ago. At the very least, I don't think they'll be switching over to a new restaurant anytime soon. Even if you didn't have that f familiarity and connection with him, you're always finding ways to improve your cooking skills. The terrorist will choose good taste in the end. I don't think you're going to lose. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Sosuke's praise makes Go feel shy. <laughs> Being praised by Sosuke seems like something rare. Well, for him to say that much, they have no sense of danger. Hmm. The next morning. Alright. The next morning. As usual, I head to the lounge for work. Uh oh. Welcome to. Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. I'm suddenly greeted by Go when I open the door. No, oh, this is. <laughs> what the hell is so funny? Sorry, sorry. Your tone of voice suddenly changed when you said Moko. It, it did. Kinda. Uh, you're practicing being hospitable. Sosuke said you didn't have to do that, though. B but we'll take care of the customers. You focus on cooking. We'll get absolutely nothing out of you doing something you're not good at and then losing the taste of your cooking, right? You're right. Please. Sure, leave it to me. Go is still worried. He had a monopoly on customers before they started flocking to the new restaurant, didn't he? That's why he has never had to experience a struggle for survival until now. We have to support him. As usual, we have our after work dinner. Huh? What about Sosuke? He can't go home today because he has the night shift. Mm. He didn't say anything about that this morning. Was it a last minute decision? Anyways, let's eat. Thanks for the food. Yeah, thanks. As soon as I pick up my chopsticks, the restaurant door burst, burst open. Huh? Sorry, we're already closed. Huh? Hey! You're that guy from yesterday! <laughs> the bar, that large build coming through the door is undoubtedly the manager of the Black Cat Cafe. W -w what do you want? I told you I'd be stopping by to say hello. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be this soon, though. Strike while the iron is on. More haste, less speed. Never hurts to be early. But we're not racing. Worrying about every little thing like that is why you're still a virgin. How does that... What? How... How... Where's the comparison? How, how does that work? Please don't just assume I'm a virgin. Are you the manager at the Black Cat Cafe? 
Yamato Hirofumi, nice to meet you in the lounge, go. You know my name too? Of course I do, Yujiroku. Even me? I heard about you from my customers. I said you guys eat dinner here after work. I thought I'd join you in too. I even got the wife to make me a bento. Don't feel like you need to hold back just because I'm here. You don't know what it means to hold back, do you? <laughs> I've been told that. <laughs> As Yamato-san opens up the bento he bought, he talks on and on and on in a loud voice. Go, Kun! Even though you've got such a great restaurant at such a young age, you have your share of troubles, right? Looks like I'm several years older than you, so don't hesitate to ask if you need it, if you need help. Yeah. Seems you don't talk to your customers much, though. Shouldn't you come out and visit them to get a better opinion of your restaurant? Lots of people think that, but they don't say it. I think listening is a manager's job. Don't you think so, Yujiro Kun? Huh? Y yeah? Goku, are you listening? Yeah. Not like that. Give more social, give more sociable responses. I'm not saying you have to be sociable to me, but if you're unsociable to them, sooner or later they'll get tired of being sociable themselves. I don't think so. Your people are always friendly. Really? I doubt there are very many, though. Social ability is like the connector that links people together. Even a bug wouldn't approach your surly face. You have to give patronage to get patronage. I've done plenty of preparations in advance to do whatever it takes to get repeat customers. How about you? Do you understand? In addition to that, I've got something else to tell you. Shut the hell up! Oh! I've been keeping your mouth shut while you've been keep, while you just keep yapping away. You're the one that came here to my restaurant. I'm doing things my way. What you say? Somebody's trying to give you some advice and this is how you talk to them? What advice? No one asked you for it. Most restaurant managers who can't make a single dish are a sham and have nothing to teach. Sham! We're behind the times. In this era of diversification, stubborn people like you are a dying breed. The essence of a restaurant is the taste of its cooking. Customers come when the food is good. Oh boy. I wonder how those restaurant help shows would be like. Or those kitchen helper shows or whatever. Has that changed with the times? I, I say that way of thinking is already obsolete. What's necessary for restaurants now is to not let anything separate you from the customer. The needs of the customer and the current trends, the way a manager should look, realizing those things are a requirement for a manager. Shutting yourself in the kitchen and only doing what you like, that's the that's what a third rate that's what third rate managers do. You damn cat! I'm gonna beat you to death! Go, stop! Go, somebody! Murder is a crime! I don't think he's gonna murder him. But Jiroku and I stopped Go from trying to leap towards your model son and somehow managed to get him to sit down. Despite his displaying violent behavior, he loosened his clenched fist when his eyes meet mine. I wasn't sure if stopping him by force would work, so I'm very relieved when he quietly sits down. However, Go continues to glare at Yamato-san, so it's hard to look like he can kill him. So, it's so hard, it looks like he can kill him. <laughs> Clash was just barely avoided, the situation still remains volatile. Yamato-san, please go home for today. The fist fight could work out at any time if you can tell me to be here. And in this ticking time bomb of a man out of here is what needs to be done now more than anything else. Huh! You don't know what it, you don't need to tell me twice. I 
thought maybe we'd get along, being in the same business and all. Sorry, but I won't make that mistake again. All the tourists in this village belong to the Black Cat Cafe. I won't hand them over to a shriveled up restaurant like this one. You better think about your future plans now, so you don't end up homeless when I crush you. If you ask nicely, I'll give you some livestock feed or table scraps. <sighs> Saying no more, Yamato-san slams the door on his way out. Silence sets in. It was as if a storm just blown through. Brandon, Yujiro, thanks. Thank you for stopping me. Go says that as he holds back his rage. Really, he just says whatever he wants and then goes home? Go, senpai. Don't worry about someone like that. He can't get by with just talk. I think what Sosuke said is right. I just need to make good food. That's what the knowledge is about. That's what the knowledge is all about. Is that really true? Go, you have been conforming to Yamato-san's stance. Wasn't he trying to imitate him this morning? Yamato-san left his bento here when he left. I'll throw it away later. Just leave it there. What? Throw it away? That's wasteful. Hmm. Nothing. Intimidated by Go, Yujiro <laughs> reluctantly consents to it being thrown away. You had the food I made. Eat that. Y yes, sir. I'll fill my stomach and forget about all that bad stuff. I heard on TV that bad emotions can be relieved with good emotions. Uh, okay. Yep. So, go, senpai. Shut up and eat, Yujiro. Okay. After that, our meal is finished with an unpleasant air. After saying goodbye to the both of them, I left for home. He returned to the empty house, finishing wa finish washing dishes and doing the laundry. And then take a short break to watch TV. There was a program I wanted to watch today. It's the most anticipated match in professional wrestling lately. Black Leon vs. Red Bull. I'm a fan of the wrestler called Black Leon, who's quiet and mild mannered, but extraordinarily strong during matches. His fight with the well known villain powerhouse Red Bull is nothing less than a clash of good and evil between two strong men. There's no way I'd miss this. Compared to the city, this village has only about half the channels. I'm very lucky I can watch this. And then the phone in the living room rings. The match is about to start, too. This is Sosuke's house. I don't know if I should answer it. But it's possible that it's somebody I know, so I decide to turn down the volume on the TV and pick up the phone. Hello? Hey, it's me. Hey, it's me. <laughs> oh, so it is. What do you mean, oh? And here I was putting off brushing my teeth so I could call you. Right? You're 
just a freeloader, so you and I have a master-servant relationship, and you're my high obedient manservant. Hey! Hey, this is getting weird. This is an order from your master. Make sure you lock the doors. You're the master? up now. Alright, good night. I hang up the phone. Only the sound of the TV can be heard in the living room. Now that I think about it, it's been quite some time since I last watched TV alone. That was the norm for me before I came here, but I thought Sosuke and I would be watching it together tonight. When I think about that, I feel very satisfied for some reason. I was looking forward to the match, but now I've lost interest in it. I'll just go to bed. Turn off the TV and return to my room. I record and watch it some other time with Sosuke. That means you hit the record button. What the? The moment I lay down on my bed, the Harusu giant makes the ground shake again. Oh yeah, it's the weekend. Isn't it somewhat stronger today? <laughs> it definitely is. It's huge. Way more than a four than before. Ugh. Oh man. I I'm scared. Ugh. I just realized something. Before I came to live here, Sosuke was living alone. I'm sure there were many times when he was sleeping alone with when the giant came. A strange, unknown sound probably scared Sosuke too, especially when he wasn't used to it. What was that phone call earlier for? Was he using it, forgetting about telling me about his night shift, N nothing more than an excuse? Hmm. I'm probably overthinking it. I might just be making assumptions. But when I think about Sosuke worrying about me that much, it makes my fear fade away. Good emotions relieve bad emotions. We need a better saying. <laughs> Is this what you meant by that, Yujiro kun? Sure. Sure, there.